off. The chase started in Pocatello city limits, but included at least one Idaho State Police officer. Around 1.20 yesterday afternoon, ISP got into a pursuit with this man, Rocco Chacon Jr., and an unidentified woman at Golden Gate and Olympus Road. The chase finally ended seven miles north of the city limits on Pocatello Creek Road in Maple Grove Lane. The pair were both taken to the hospital and treated for their injuries. KPVI News that works for you reporter Magdala Lusant was the only reporter on the scene yesterday. She joins us now live where the chase began. And Magdala, what have you learned today? Matt, as you can still see, we're out here at where the crash started, as you mentioned. The fence out here still has some damage to it, and there's even glass out here still on the ground left here at the scene. But police are releasing little information tonight on the chase and the shooting. They still haven't, they still haven't released the official name of the suspect, but through our investigation, we figured out who it is. His name is Rocco. Rocco, excuse me, Rocco Chacon Jr. And today he was in front of a Bannock County judge for a charge for charges unrelated to this chase. Rocco Chacon Jr. is the man reportedly involved in the high-speed chase with Idaho State Police on Monday afternoon. Police are still tight-lipped about the investigation and won't release any other info at the moment. But here's what we do know about the 24-year-old. On Tuesday, he appeared before a Bannock County judge on a TV monitor for violating parole. Back in October 2015, Chacon was charged with three felonies, two counts of controlled substance and another drug charge. He was found guilty on one controlled substance charge. In September 2016, a Bannock County judge sent Chacon on a rider program and gave him five years of probation. In February, Chacon picked up four new felony charges in Utah. Davis County prosecutors confirmed with KPVI that he has a bench warrant out for his arrest. Court documents show Chacon's charges are two counts of possession of controlled substance with intent to distribute, possession of drug paraphernalia, failure to stop at the command of an officer, and traffic charges. Chacon is being held without bond, and no date has been scheduled for, the ne for his next hearing. For now, reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Magdala Lusant, KPVI News that works for you. All right, thank you very much, Magdala. Pocatello Police is the agency investigating the incident, but Idaho State Police troopers were involved. While they can't comment on this case right now, state police say that they have strict policies over the use of force, and that includes only shooting if they know that their life or someone else's is in danger, and it's often a quick decision. Uh, officers don't have that luxury. They have to make split-second decisions in the heat of, of battle, so to speak, and. And that's what the courts look at and whether it was reasonable or not. That's why they established the reasonable officer standard. Uh, is this reasonable for an officer, given those set of circumstances, to react in this way?